All right. Uh, so first of all, before I begin, I need to apologize, I guess, <laughs> that uh, for not posting a video in a long time. And uh, thankfully, I've been extremely busy with work. That's a good thing. Um, we've also been dealing with some issues with our home, but all is well. Uh, so anyway, I <laughs> thought I'd take a look now at uh, there's a feature in the child theme that I had overlooked because I don't use it that much anymore, but it is useful. Um, I have built in a, let's see, a submenu widget that lets you show automatically the child pages in, say, a sidebar, links to the pa uh, pages within a section, let's say. So let's, let's say, for example, um, we need to build out some other pages beneath a sample page. So I'm going to go in here. And we'll just uh, fill in some pages. And I guess I should have done this. Here, we'll go to my favorite. I should have done this uh, behind the scenes, so to speak, but whatever. Let's see. I want some. Yeah, holy grail. That's good. <laughs> we'll just grab some text. Bull. Child. Not child. Page one, and we'll just drop in some text. And oh, I forgot. We need to go over here and where? Here we go. Page attributes. Parent page is sample page. Okay. Publish. Yes. And we'll do a couple more just so you can get an idea. Key page. I wish there was an add new page from right here. And there probably is a plugin for that. Okay, add new. And just because I'm particular about it, I want some new text. Okay, grab this. And we'll say simple child page two. And let's go to the page settings. And we'll do one more, just because threes are nice. Go ahead and refresh there, add new. And we'll do a sample child page three. Got some serious delay going on here. Three and Copy some text. All right, and let's make this a child of sample page. There we go. All right, so now we have our pages. So this is a common um, website structure. You know, you have your broad sections that appear in the menu at the top. So we have sample page. Okay, so now let's update the menu. And we, you know, now we have drop down menus, uh, which are really common. I come back from old school, where that was kind of a, was still a convention, but I remember there being some issues over accessibility uh, where you didn't want to have to depend on them. And I don't know if that's still the case or not. I don't think it is, but okay, we want all of these. Okay, Just save here. And if I refresh, now I get a drop down menu. And I can go to these inner pages. And you can see the breadcrumb showing us the, uh, the page structure. But let's say that I'm within this section for sample page now, but I want a sub menu over here. So I can go to widgets and see, maybe we want to get rid of maybe all these. Maybe we'll leave the search.
Okay, and over here from our available widgets, we have this GPC, Generate Press Child theme, submenu widgets, or widget, sorry. So we're gonna add it to the right sidebar. I'm gonna put it up above the search. And so we have some options. It'll default to in this section. Um, and you can you know make it blank. You can choose which menu you want it to pull from. Um, let's see, pages. <laughs> what would you say pages in this section? Whatever, you can call it whatever you want. Okay, so now when I refresh, I get a nice little submenu that reflects automatically what is here. So now I can jump around in three. So again, this is a common convention and it'll even pick up on nested pages. So if I have something under sample child page one, that and oh sorry forgot I have to add it to the menu <laughs> um, here we go and you can this is probably for another video but there's a great uh, plugin called nested pages that actually changes the way the pages uh, interface is, is structured and it lets you control the menu structure directly from the pages. I've had a love-hate relationship with it. I like it on some sites. Uh, it's not always beneficial. Sometimes it gets kind of glitchy it feels like and it'd be a great pro plugin if it could be ironed out. Uh, worth the money. Um, but I prefer, for the most part, doing it manually like this. Okay, so now, there we go. And again, you can see our breadcrumbs picking up on that structure. Yeah. So that's a handy, uh, a handy tool, or it can be. I, I still use it, not all the time, but there are some sites, I'm working on one now, where the site is primarily just a bunch of pages that are nested in different fashions. And this is a useful tool to me. Uh, it saves a lot of time because you could just essentially create lots of menus and use a, uh, a widget visibility plugin to make it appear on certain pages and not on others. But this is dynamic, so it will, um, for example, if I go over to, well, yeah. So the home page is not going to show up because there are no child pages, and certainly the blog won't show up. Yeah, but it will here. Um, and just to show you what's happening behind the scenes, so here is style CSS, and here it's under widgets, and this is all the styling that's be, being applied right now. You you know have at it as far as what you want to do. I can't even remember if this drop down menu toggle still appears because of the way I have it working. Um, I'm not honestly savvy enough to build. Well, it doesn't look like it is. To, uh, to build a, uh, what do you call it? A menu walker, a nav walker. Um, let's just comment this out. A custom nav walker, I think it's called. Uh, so, you know, to to write something custom that rebuilds the way this menu is spit out. Um, let's take a look. Okay, no, so that's not really. So it used to be that this little carrot or this little arrow angle icon, whatever, would show up here too. So I was using CSS to hide it. So new discovery, that's not uh, needed anymore. 
So you can leave that out. Um, what else do I need to, oh, there is one option. So there are two files under ink that control uh, the submenu. So there's a submenu widget, which actually is the widget code itself that um, controls the widget on the back end, how it appears on the front end. And here's the little snippet right here that does the front end uh, display. And then there's a submenu.php itself, which is something I swiped from somewhere else. I've, I've done my best to look through it and try to understand what it's doing. Um, it's actually been a long time since I've been through it, but you know, take a look at it and um, you know, you can always learn from it. I know I did at one point. Um, here are some extra options if you want to change. For example, if you want the parent page to also show, and I'll show you what that does. So this, here's the option for show parent is true. So I can come to this, let's just say right here. Cannot spell this morning. Parent true. And what that does is it will show this parent page here as well. The styling is going to be a little wonky, I believe. Well, a little bit. Okay, so here we have this parent page. So if you prefer that, you can, you know, certainly change that setting and have it output this way. So you always have that top page at the top and then the, the nested structure underneath it. So it's just a matter of preference. So I think that is it. Uh, so that's, that's a handy little feature um, that is in this child theme that you can use uh, as you please. And certainly feel free to submit any improvements to GitHub if you uh, see fit. Um, again, I'm sorry that the videos have pretty much ceased since December. I'm trying to get back on track. And one of the things I'm thinking about doing is rebuilding my work site as a series of videos. Right now, it's a, built using a static site generator with Nunjux and Post CSS. And I had begun redoing my blog as a series of video, or I thought it would. <clears throat> but my blog is at addisonhall.com. But I haven't published to it since, well, there you go, 2017. And I thought I'd move the blog back over to my work site and just make my personal site just a simple page with some information, no, no blogging, anything like that. Move all that to my work site with some work samples. And maybe my next video series could just be my thoughts, my process, and how I'm going to put it together, how I'm going to make the portfolio work, build it as a custom post type. Uh, things like that. So maybe I'd find uh, some other people would find that helpful. But uh, yeah, subscribe, uh, leave me comments. I'll always try to answer. And um, I want this to be useful. I want to have fun with it again. So thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you soon. Thanks.